Happy Sunday. I just want to make sure you're awake and we're able to hear the video, watch the video, and digest what we're going to talk about today, which is how much can I expect to spend on leads? Remember, and on this channel, we talk about all things financial services as it relates to comp plans, compensation plans, as it relates to products, final expense, mortgage protection, and as it relates to the IMO and the difference between the IMOs. We provide this facts and documentation to back up what we talk about on this channel. We allow you to decide what's best for you. Today, I want to talk about what can you expect to spend on leads? Big question. I get this quite a bit um, over the course of the week from uh, many, many individuals I'm talking to on the phone. Look, here's the truth. Lead cost is an investment. You go back and watch my video, uh, Beef Patties and Mortgage Protection. It goes really deep into that uh, that mindset. I think leads is a mindset issue that many people have to deal with. If you haven't been in business before, which is fine, many people haven't, but uh, all businesses have to advertise in order to get customers or find, get people, or get to, sorry, to get people to find their product. Leads for us is our form of advertising. While we're not trying to get them into our door, we're trying to get into their door. So again, same rules apply. You're going to be advertising in your business, good times and bad. And here's where the counterintuitive mindset comes from when things are down most businesses and you're running your own business here have to invest more not less because again it takes more advertise it takes more advertising to get you on the door when business is so slow so i want to spend a little time this week on talking about that but here's the difference look we had to come to grips with the truth that the only thing that will beat you in this business is the white space on your counter period Nothing else except, of course, your desire uh, to be independent of any boss and to design your life around your job. Those things are key mindset issues. Now, you have to, you have, those things have to drive you, number one, to want to be independent and uh, be able to design your life around your job and have that work-life balance. Those things are very, very key. And activity drives it all, right, in, term, in terms of the counter. If you're sitting around... Uh, and uh, you know, you're not in front of somebody talking about your, pro whether it's a lead or warm market or friend, or cold market, somebody you met at the gas station, whatever, you should always be uh, presenting uh, your business and your options. So, so let's talk about how much you can expect to spend on leads. There are a couple of things in this business that will put you out of business as a mortgage protection and a final expense agent. And those two things are number one, lack of activity, going back to the white space on your calendar and lack of capital. So today, let's discuss what that means to you. You have to be on a crusade, as I mentioned earlier, to work for yourself as a 1099 independent contractor and manage your own schedule. That's why I spend so much time, uh, not so much on the product, but more on the mindset, because I believe that six inches between your two ears will determine your I quit factor. And controlling that six inches really is your understanding of the expectation it takes to succeed and to win in this business. You, again, have to be willing to be on a 10 9 be an independent contractor, manage your own schedule, but, and this is where I find a lot of people are shortcutting themselves to success, is you have to be willing to work as hard for yourself, being your own boss, as you did or are doing for that boss at the 9 to 5 where you're clocking in and clocking out. You know the one I'm talking about, the one where you have to ask if you can go home early because to, to, your child is sick or can you have this day off or look, you're going to have to put the same type of commitment to your success here in order to succeed, right? Again, a mindset issue. I talked to many, many, many agents who don't want to go to the national conference because they just don't think it's necessary. They don't need the hype. They don't need the raw, raw, uh, or I want to make money before I actually spend money. All those. But look, if your boss told you, you had to be here uh, at this trade show in Orlando or in you know, Washington, D.C., whatever it is, you would be there. Why? Because your job is dependent on it. And again, the mindset is so important here because going to a national conference, your success does depend on it, right? And this whole idea of you spending money before you make money, look, that's the way business is, right? All businesses had to build a building, get employees, put the equipment in, do, do all this stuff they do before they ever make the first sale. So in business, in general, you are going to spend money before you make money, and leads is no exception, right? You're either going to build your own dreams here, or 
you're going to build your boss's dreams and his lifestyle. It's a choice that you have to make. So let's discuss today expectations, which I believe, again, like I said, you have to understand what it will take to win here. You have a much better chance of succeeding long term if you do set the correct expectations. And that largely comes from knowledge, your understanding, formulas, numbers, the law of large numbers, things that you can understand. You can put a pencil to them and you know that if you do X, you'll get Y, right? So let's talk about that. This is a simple but clear formula that you can expect to spend on your business for advertising for leads. 10 to 15% of what you want to make, right? So 10 to 15% net spent on leads or on advertising. Again, all businesses have an advertising budget and they base it on their businesses finances what they're afford to put back in to advertising. In our business you can expect to spend 10 to 15 percent of the income you want to make in order to earn X amount of dollars. We discussed this on our previous video called The Formula Exposed. Go find that one. I'll try to remember to put it up here. But you can very easily figure out what you'll need to do in terms of production, APV, which is annual premium volume to net out what you need to earn weekly or monthly in income. So go find that video and if you have not already watched it, watch it and take some notes and you can figure out exactly what, I mean I love numbers because once you understand the numbers and once you understand the averages, you're either going to be above average or below average. And if you're below average, over time with more education, more, more uh, actually doing the business, you're gonna, you can get to average or above. So you have a base point of which to start from and you have a best case scenario and a worst case scenario, right? So go watch that video. You can find it right here on this channel. Make sure if you haven't already done so, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell, and you'll get instant notifications of, uh, of the live streams that I put out in new videos, right? So subscribe if you haven't already done so, right? So use the 10 to 15% weekly lead budget or advertising investment uh, of your income. Here's what that number should look like. You want to earn $1,000 a week or a month, doesn't matter. You need to expect to spend $100 to $150. So let's just say $2,000. Again, you're looking at more like um, uh, $200 to $250. Three, three, hundred to three fifty, five thousand, five hundred to maybe six fifty. These are good, solid numbers. Uh, that you should be expected to spend. So if you want to make $5,000 a week, expect to spend $500 to $650 a week on leads. Now let me ask you a question, because some of you go south when I start talking about this stuff. You go, well, five to $600? Well, let me ask you, if you handed me $500 a week and I handed you back $5,000, would you do that? And how many times would you do it, right? That's what you need to understand. This is a, this is a very low investment to reap these kind of rewards, right? So now, Let's look at your lead cost. Stop. So that really is going to be a good solid number to base your lead cost. Now that's based on the law of large numbers, not a law of small numbers. I get this question a lot. I get email comments, you know, day to day, maybe it doesn't, maybe the numbers don't play out or week to week, maybe they don't play out, but they, over time, the law of large numbers will be accurate. In other words, you can't beat the numbers and numbers can't be, beat you. They are what they are, right? But again, you have to, it's over time, not day to day. For example, some days I have a really bad day, next day I make up for it. I've gone where I've, where I've gone out and closed eight sales straight, and then I've hauled up and, 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 did, and, and went on four appointments and closed nothing. So things, they average, we're talking about averages, not day-to-day -day stuff, right? So again, I have a video called The Law of Large Numbers. It's on this channel. Go watch it. I'll try to put it up here if I remember. Um, to go and, do, and watch that and study and get that right mindset so you're prepared and you have the right expectations. Years ago, I started studying what sets successful agents apart, and it's this, their willingness to invest in their own success here and cash flow their business and their willingness to fail was at the top of the list. You are not going to be good at this starting day one. What business are you ever, what skill are you ever good at day one. Some, for some reason in this business, people come in, they get their license, they start making, they pick the phone up, they start making dials and they start making mistakes. They go, oh, this is not for me. Where did you learn that? 
I mean, learning is a process. It's, do, it's learn, do, learn, do, learn, do. And that's how we all get better. So now that you know what you should be investing in leads to be able to set yourself up for success, let's take a look at another key factor in what makes that formula work. That would be the type and quality of the leads that you're buying and calling. This is another area where new agents set themselves up for failure by taking that simple formula and then buying very old leads or free leads or not enough leads, right? The formula works based on these conversion ratios. Very important. So, so before we get started on that, let me just set up my disclaimer here. For the purpose of this example, here are some good numbers to follow, right? Okay, had to see my board off. Okay, so let's take A leads. Again, for this video, A leads are fresh leads. Never been sold to any agent before. And again, this all depends on the quality of the leads that you're getting from your lead source, whether it's your IMO or th some third party vendor. Again, some IMOs sell A leads, fresh leads, as fresh and they're not really fresh. So these conversion ratios work as long as you have integrity in the lead system and that fresh really means fresh. So on fresh leads, you should expect out of every three leads that you buy to book one appointment, right? So three to one, okay? And on average, these types of leads will cost you between, let's say, uh, $27 to $49 each. Now, most of these IMOs are, are co-op in this lead cost because the real cost of leads is much higher, right? Now, let's take B leads. B leads are usually typically five weeks to nine months old. Okay, so A lead becomes B lead. So technically it should already, been, should already been sold to one agent before you got it, but not sold a product. Now, when I say that, I had to throw in another disclaimer here. Most IMOs don't have the ability to track that information, so you're getting leads that have been sold multiple times or have bought a product from some IMOs because they don't have the technology to back up their lead program to remove the lead when it's sold a product. So again, those things, go watch my video on the things. It's not just a sign-up thing. You have to make sure you're with the right IMO that has the technology to back up a program like this that has an integrity-based lead system, right? But all things being equal, five weeks to nine months, sold an A agent, not sold a product. Now you get it as a B agent, right? Or the B lead. Now on average, these, your ratio here will be 10 to one. So out of every 10 leads, you should book one appointment on average. Now these leads will gonna cost you, let's just say they're six bucks a piece, okay? Now the next one is C leads. Now C leads pick up where this one left off. So they're 10 months on up. Could be, you know, one, two, three, four, five years. Now, technically, A agent had it, B agent had it, and C agent now, you, has that lead, and your average on those will be 16 to one, okay? Now, this is important when it comes down to going back to what we said before, what, it, what you're willing to spend to make X amount of dollars, right? And these leads, on average, should cost you $2. So now you can see that the fresher the leads are, they cost more, but the conversion rate is far better. As a new agent, I believe you should start with the older leads, but not real old leads, and certainly not free leads. You get what you pay for, right? It's important that you have early success so you're protecting the mindset, the, two, the six inches between those two ears, and you're seeing some success and income coming in your first four to six weeks. Call them real old leads, as I said, or fresh leads, leads to early burnout and financially possibly wrecking your bank. So you have to be careful working really old leads or free leads because again, if you get frustrated, your I quit factor is not very high, It'll flush you out of the business, and that would be unfortunate because you can have real success here, right? Leads are your only real cost in this business. Unless you're brand new and need to get a license uh, to become an agent, if you are new, here are the costs you expect. Pre-licensing should be $200 to $250. That you have to take a pre-licensing course online, get your 32 hours required in, get a certificate, and then go make an appointment to sit for the state exam. The state exam will cost you 85 to 150 dollars then you're gonna need business cards name tag and a lanyard another 75 dollars so for a couple two three hundred bucks to get started so you're licensed in your state to conduct business plus of course your gas 
That should be about it. So you don't have a. Re so the entry level in this business is very, very low in comparison to what you can make on it, right? And that takes into consideration that you're not going to sign with an IMO that charges you for um, technology, charges you for membership dues, uh, clubs, those kind of silly things. And you, and you are, you ought to reconsider it, right? And for supporting my channel, I can help you with the cost of the pre-licensing. Just contact me either through text, leave a comment. Uh, email me or even call me, and I do so much business with these pre-licensing companies, I can give you a discount that will save you about 70% off the cost of pre-licensing. So in closing today, let's discuss the three things you must be willing to do. I will until in order to make it in this business. That's what you need to say. I will until no matter what, whatever it takes to succeed in this business because I want to be independent. I want to control my life. I want to be able to design my life around my job. I don't want to be having to work so my boss can build a lifestyle and build memories with his kids. I want to control my life so I can build memories with my kids and do things that I enjoy doing. You have to be committed to that or it's an uphill battle, right? Then once you have that permanently burned into your very being that I, I must be free, I must control my life. I do not want to work 40 years, retire and die. I want to live life between, you know, birth and death, right? I, I, didn't, I was not put on this earth just to be an employee, just to work for somebody. I was put on the earth to do things that, I, that, that I'm passionate about, that motivates me, give it to my family, give it to my community, whatever it is. You can do that here and do your business around your passions. That's really ought to work. Then, once you had that down, you can decide if you're willing to take the next step, right? So here are those things. One, buy leads. Create a budget for yourself for advertising. And make sure, remember, more leads equals more dials, equals more contacts, equals more appointments set, equals more presentations, equals more apps written, right? So the less leads you buy, the older the leads are, the lower conversion rates you're going to have, and you set yourself up for failure, right? So make sure that you're starting with, like, you know, with leads that are at least five weeks old or so. Don't work free leads, and don't work all only leads that are, you know, five years old. If you have no lead budget at all, well, you have to solve that. And you can still succeed in this business by working your warm market. Everybody needs our product, right? Everybody does. 50% of the people in this country don't have life insurance or final expense. So go work your warm market. Go out there and uh, promote your business. Right, be your walk, be a walking advertisement. Make a couple of sales. The average sale in this business is a thousand dollars. Pays you seven hundred. Pays you five hundred dollars next day after the twenty-five percent hold back. So after a couple of sales, you can then have some lead budget money to cash flow your business. It's all right to start out on a shoestring as long as you're doing the activity. Right. If you don't have any money and you have plenty of white space on your calendar then get out there, start talking to people, start passing your business card out, start quoting people on, on, uh, on the product, and you'll make some sales, which then you can take a, a portion of that money and reinvest, back in, stop, and reinvest it back into a lead budget, right? So, that, so no excuse matters here if you are committed to your success. So buy leads, set up a budget for it, learn the phone script, ongoing coaching and object, on objection handling is key. Again, it's do, it's learn, do, learn, do, learn, do. It's not learn, do, and never come back again. You're learning a new skill. So learn the phone script, get ongoing coaching. Make the dials. 200 dials a week if you're working uh, $2 leads minimum. I would say $250 a week. Run the appointments. Drive 15 minutes to two hours. Be willing to go where the appointment is. These are all things that you have to come to grips with and get numb to the process. It's part of this business. That's why we get paid so well. Run the appointment, right? Uh, drive two hours to make $500 to $1,000. Learn an in-home presentation that you can do the same presentation in every home because now you can you get good at one thing. If you keep changing it or you really have no system, you're never going to be able to do the same thing twice, which means you're never going to improve. If you have a system or your coach and mentor you're learning from has an actual in-home presentation they do, learn it exactly how they did it and get good at it. Later on when you're successful, you can come up with your own. But right now, learn theirs if it works and it's successful. If it's time tested and proven, make sure you're with somebody that actually knows how to sell a policy, not just a recruiter. It's important stuff. Then write the application and get it from submission to commission. And those things are what matters, right? That, you know, this is easy stuff here. You can get there, even if you don't have a lead budget, you can get there, like I said, by working in the warm market. So I hope that helps. 
Um, as always, I'm here to help you uh, through these videos. Um, I hope that you're getting something out of them. Obviously, I appreciate all the comments. Uh, this, I appreciate all the new subscribers that have just joined us since last week. Uh, do me a favor, share the video out, like it, helps it get more traction, more people see it. Um, hit the subscribe button, mash that bell. I appreciate all the call just to say, hey, I got so much out of that video. Hey, thank you very much. This is not just for, this is not for recruiting purposes. If you need a home, call us, obviously. I've always said that, that we are building a nationwide agency as well. If we can help you and you're staying where you're at or you cannot leave because you signed a contract and they won't release you from it, Fantastic, you're welcome here. That's what this channel is all about, right? But if I'm gonna help you, let me know. Okay, that's a wrap. I do have a free gift for you. I've been giving away the last couple of weeks. Many of you have taken advantage of it and have emailed me. Put it in the comments. Please send me your um, income goal setting spreadsheet. Don't put your email address in the comments. Email it to me directly. I'll stick the Excel spreadsheet in there. Um, tell me if you have a Mac or a PC, because I have both. I'm more than happy to give it to you, an income goal setting spreadsheet. Thank you very much for being here. Grateful to have you. Look forward to talking to you and see you on Wednesday in our new agent training series. Bye-bye now.